Dude. Oh, I felt gas too. Good rip. What up? Um, we're here at Burden of Dreams. I just gave an attempt and I'm gonna give a little breakdown on what I did in the attempt and how it went. Yeah, well, we're gonna start at the bottom and go to the top. All right, so starting at the bottom, these are the two start holds here. I'm putting on my left foot and then grabbing the left hand and really grabbing it well because it takes the most amount of time. And then I quickly put on my other hand and get in a position and put on the right foot. And I feel like this allows me to pull on in a better position and it's actually faster because the hold I take the most amount of time to get, I grab first. I also grab two positions. One is down here and then if I have a blister or a cut, which I've had every session pretty much, I switch to a higher grip position. Grip one is like that. And grip two is one finger up. Like that. And so this is the grip position that Nale and Will Bozy did. And this is the grip position that like Toru, Stefano, and I are trying. So once I get on, then it's the first move, which is going here. Uh, this is considered the hardest move on the boulder. Um, it actually feels okay for me, but I would probably agree that it is the hardest individual move. But since it's the first move, um, it's not the one stopping me from doing it. So with the grip position, with the lower hold, I can't really keep my feet as well. So on this try, I got the hold decently well and I cut feet and I brought it up to here. So it's really quick. And then I crossed foot through and I bring my right foot out to this hold here. So this part's like probably one of the more key parts. It really depends on if I get this hold well. And that's kind of like a lot of my tries. If I don't hit this hold well, I just let go because it's not really like a worthy attempt. Um, I have had tries where I can re-grip the hold. But it's pretty hard and for this boulder, you kind of need to do everything right from the start. So hitting this hold right is really, or correct, is really important from the start. Once I have this correctly and I have my feet out, I match, and this is really important. I match with these two fingers. It's kind of like the what I come into. There's a really specific part right here. And then pinky, and then I drop the finger here and put this on top like that. Once I've done the uh, finger swap, I have my left foot off of this foot and I'm just on the right foot. And this move is a really cool balance of being dynamic and also kind of like static in a way. So you really just like lock into a position and you quickly hit this. Yeah, this hold I usually aim for as a pinch. Um, and it's a three finger hold that's predominantly on the ring finger and the middle finger. Um, once I stick this hold, Next is I get my left foot down here and I almost do like a little mini drop knee to come into this upper hold. And as I was setting up for the last move, my foot just like picked off. No! Yeah, I didn't really get to play the odds on the move, but it felt really good. I felt as if I was trying to move from, from just right there. 
Like I wasn't thinking about the physical difficulty, it was just, yeah. Which is maybe why my foot slipped. I feel like I kind of lost some of the, um, like the thought on keeping all the tension. I was really focused on just generating with my hands because I was like, oh, I feel good on the holds and I'm just gonna like pull down as hard as I can. And because of that, I maybe lost some of the tension on the foot. That was it. I left such a fat rubber mark on there. Dude. Oh, I felt gas too. Good rip.